Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard and I thought I was all done. And I had some paint left in my little container that's a silicone, squishy silicone container. I've lost the top for it now. It used to have it. There it is. That's what it looks like. They come in multicolor packs. Anyway, so what I've been doing is adding some paint to a canvas. doesn't matter the colors. It does matter that I put my gold away because I want my gold. I always want my gold. But I'm just going to put it all down with... I'm going to wipe the water off that OXO omelette turning spatula. I'm going to put that paint away for the moment. I want some pink. And I have some pink that I'm using up. This is all in lieu of, instead of black and white. Which I could probably still add some black and some white, but I think all I want really is to have an interesting background that will then allow me to pour the paint from my little salad dressing container right on it. And right at the moment, all I want to do is use it up. But I know there's good colors in there. And I'm using my spatula that you can find on my Amazon link below the video, by the way. I mean, I tell you guys that all the time, so you ought to know by now. You have to open show, you have to find show more and you have to click it and use the down arrow to really find it perfectly well. And also under the video, you'll find my paint pouring recipe and some other stuff that you might want, like my link to Pinterest or my Instagram and uh, the three Facebook volumes, one, two, and three, that show the wet and dry artworks for YouTube. I'm not going to throw that in the bucket yet. I do want another color. What, what color do I want? That is a good question. I want an obnoxious color. Well, I was almost ready to put my paints away, and I went, whoa, what's that? All right, here goes nothing. Let's see what happens. Tip all that toward one side. Let's let as much of it drain out as possible. And I'll look to see if there are any colors. You know, I haven't used much tubing. I'm going to let that drain a bit, I hope, without spilling. I haven't used much tubing, I was going to say. blow my paint around. It helps if I have my glasses on to find my tubing. There it is. I put most of my colors away, but fortunately I left out the ones that I was using before. So I'm going to use a Princeton Catalyst spatula, also available on my Amazon link, strangely enough. And yes, I saw those beautiful cells. I'll let that paint slide right down over the edge. I'm going to tip this. Doesn't look like I used much white. I kind of want... I want black, but I put the black away, so maybe I'm going to get purple instead. I also want an edge catcher. A smaller one than a larger one. It can just be any kind of sheet of plastic. So I'm going to let all of that kind of go for the moment. And when it hits the edge, I'm going to let it touch it and then let it go over. I will have to touch up my edges where I'm holding on with my finger. You know what? I just really want to waggle that orange through there while I'm at it. I think I want some of my purple again. And it's over here. Yes, it is. I don't see any gold. I could have sworn I put some gold in there. I use GAC 800 in all of my paint mixes so that if I want to leave the paint thick like this is, I can do so. GAC 800 by Golden. It prevents cracking. That's what it's made for. 
It's probably made for other things. It makes a really nice top coat too, I found out by trying it myself. I was well pleased. So that's okay. What else do I want to do to that? Anything? I have some pearl. I want the gold. Yep. You said it. I said it too. The gold is a mica powder on my Amazon link also, and it sells beautifully. I have it mixed with um, Decor Pouring Medium Floetrol and the GAC 800. I put in everything. I have wanted to do an ammonite style for a while, so I think this is that. I pulled out a few strands on one of my last ones, but I think that's pretty cool. been raining off on and off all afternoon where I am and it's getting cold and I am ready to be done I say that but I don't stop <laughs> you notice yeah that's fun. It's another fantasy piece. I'm going to just let that paint on my spatula hit the edge of the canvas and then put it in place with my fingers. Usually paint will flow to paint and uh, if I leave chasms like that they'll fill in. I didn't notice that they were. That's kind of different. I kind of want something else in there. I'm not sure what it is. Um, it's not the dark purple. Maybe it's more of that blue. I love that blue. That's a color shift blue. What can I do to mix that in? I think that is... a bamboo skewer. That's the dull end of a bamboo skewer. a lot of paint on that canvas. Not sure why I did that, but I liked the effect I was getting so I couldn't stop. <laughs> Stuff like that happens to me all the time. All right, I'm still not unhappy with that, so I'm going to torch really quickly. Where's my torch? I did not move my torch away. Really? Holy cow. There it is. <laughs> So much for glasses being a big help. I torch to release bubbles in the paint. I torch to release patterns in the paint. We've used up our paint. I'm actually got some great little animal print looking cells popping. I don't use any silicone in my paint. The flow troll takes care of making cells. The green is a color shift. The blue is a color shift. Most of the other colors in this particular piece are, uh, are metallics. My dog says it's time to play. My paint is smoking because it's so cold out here. <laughs> okay, well, that was almost a mistake, I guess. And if I've got some paint to steal anywhere, I'm just going to let it go right over the edge where I need it. And I have it, yeah. My dog says it's rock 30. And that is him digging a rock across my rubber mats in my studio area, which is not thrilling me this moment. He and I will have words in a minute when we are done. So since I am almost done, I'll tell you, if you like what I do and you want to contribute to the studio, you'll be entered into a drawing on the 28th of February is the, is the next one. Uh, there will be more. There are four, four paintings that are, I've contributed to the event. If you win, you, if your name is drawn, you will get to put chick, mm, really? <laughs> You'll get to pick one, oh, or whatever, some variation on that theme. Um, I think I told you most everything else in other videos, but I've made, I've just done four paintings in a row, and I think I've, I've, I'm bogged down. So I have an Amazon link underneath the video where you can find the spatulas that I paint with the OXO omelet turning spatula. If you need a link, just ask me. But mostly it's the book I just wrote 
and we published the ebook in December, right before Christmas, is coming out in paperback soon, so check for that. It's called Because I Can. It's my processes and tools from the first hundred videos and showing the dry artworks. Yes, that last mark made me happier. I like that. What else do I need? Anything? Always something. <laughs> Always something fun. I don't know about that, but I don't think I hate it either. I love that blue, and I can see some canvas there, so I think I'm going to use my love of that blue to add some of that there, and maybe right up at the top, too. Just spiral that in. Do I want any more? I might. I'm not sure that's exactly the right place for it. But I'm not hating it either. Cool. Just going to put my skewer down with the paint on it, right on the edge of that canvas where I can see a little coming through. Same over there. And I am pretty well done. I love you guys. Thanks for all the contributions in the past that have kept me painting. I really appreciate them. Thanks for all the nice comments. Appreciate them. I really appreciate the thumbs up. It helps my placement. I appreciate having 47 plus thousand subscribers. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, what else? If you check out my Facebook pages, you will find Teespring as well as under the video. Well, actually, I think you'll find Curios and uh, Fine Art America, not not Teespring. So, never mind that. I think I'm pretty well done. I'm sure I forgot to tell you something, but it will never be that I don't love you because I do. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Hope to see you again. No, I'm still not working. <laughs> not done working. I want some dark purple up there. Isn't that funny? That's just how I am, you know? I'm going to draw the eye right up there. And I'm going to enjoy my GAC 800 because i am got some really thick paint. And if I need to do something to that tomorrow, I will, but I don't think so. So I'm going to say, finally, huh? Goodbye from Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard when it's cold. And I hope you guys are keeping warm wherever you are because I know it's a lot colder where you are than I am for the most part, for the most of you. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.